All right, let's 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 get this tier list on the road. 2023 controversial melee tier list. Everyone say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Oh my God. So melee is definitely one of the games of all time, but it's been through many iterations. Out of all the games that ever existed, melee is definitely one of them. But I think with the advent of ranked, Every character is now being pushed to the limit more than ever before. More than ever before. So I present to you the 2023 melee tier list. Uh, let's start with the obvious. There is a there is a few tiers in this game, but we're gonna call them top, high, mid, middle, low, bottom, and Lamau. I'm pretty sure with six tiers it covers everyone. Uh, this determines basically if you were to use if you're the you know a top tier player top 20 in the world and using this character to its absolute best ability where would you put it uh it's right there okay all right uh there's some givens there's some givens that are obvious first given is going to be that the best character in the game is you guessed it fox mcleod and again i know that a lot of you, a lot of people watching this are going to be people who are familiar with the game I know there's gonna be some viewers here as well who have, have never played it so i'll make a brief has most options of any character incredibly fast one frame shine, which leads into combos, uh, multiple ways to recover, extremely powerful kill moves, finishers, up smash, up air, very fast ledge options, incredible good ledge play, out of shield options, everything that you need, it's there. And Fox arguably beats every single character in this game or goes even with them. I no longer think Marth beats Fox. I think it's actually even. Anyway, uh, he's number one. The second best character in the game would be Marth. Marth, even though these two probably go even, best range in the game, best grab range, recovery mix-ups, Tipper is actually insane, uh, can reach up well above him, well below him, down tilt, up tilt, grabs, uh, combos, zero to deaths, uh, pivot tippers, which are now a new thing as well too, uh, dancing blade, which leads to up tilts, can kill you in any direction, um, one of the best wave dashes in the game, his dash back is just pretty much unbeatable. Uh, the down air spike, which you can't recover from. Everything that you need in a character's kit, he has, and he's there, and he's present, obviously top tier. Follow that up with the third best character in the game, which is Falco. Falco, while slightly worse than these two, amazing laser play, best projectile in the game, which is a short hop laser. Basically, it plays the game for you in so many ways. Again, insane shine, which leads you up. Best double jump in the game, best spike in the game, one of the best out of shield plays in the game. Um, incredible back air, incredible down tilt, really good jab, uh, insane up tilt, uh, insanely strong forward smash, very fast, strong down smash. Uh, and uh, yeah, best shield pressure in the game too. And his side B, which his recovery is, his recovery is supposed to not be as good as Fox because it's, it's shorter in both directions, but his side B is actually faster. And up B actually kills you upwards if you hit by it. So it's got it there. Really not, no, no, no overly losing matchups. Maybe, maybe Marth beats him. Uh, Fox Fox goes even to me to the end of days. Maybe Marth beats him, but even that's like, people discuss it all the time too. Anyway, very, very good. And yeah, that's what it is. The fourth best character in Super Smash Brothers Melee is not Puff because it's Sheik. Sheik is the fourth best character in this game. I'm happy that someone finally proved they can win a tournament with it. Honestly, Sheik is the first character where you start getting into the category of lopsided matchups. But if I'm being honest, Sheik Puff is not nearly as lopsided as they make it seem. Puff Falco, I think Falco wins like slightly by like 1% but it's very close. Sheik um, obviously loses to Fox and Falco, but beats Marth, um, loses to Puff, but only slightly, I don't think it's that crazy, and invalidates a lot of other characters, invalidates half the entire game. Does very well against Falcon, does very well against a lot of people. Does lose to Ices, does lose to Ices, which is uh, one of the losses. Like I said, below the top three, it's where you stop getting right there too. But she doesn't suffer the issue that Puff has. And you know what Puff's issue is? You wanna know why the sole reason Sheik is above Puff more than anything? Fox. Fox is the best character in the game. He's the most commonly used character in the game. He's a character that dominates the meta. He's in every single region, every single scene, every single branch, every single ranked, local, regional, national, whatever you wanna call it, Fox is present there. And Fox is Puff's worst matchup. Whereas Sheik, while losing to Fox, can still contest. Sheik does better against Fox than Puff does. And if you disagree, you are incorrect and stupid. But Puff, unsurprisingly, uh, is the fifth best character in the game. Also in top tier, and uh, yeah. Uh, Jigglypuff, my main, uh, you know, 
she's got a lot of things in this game that are uh that she does the best arguably the second best down b in the game after fox shine with rest one hit ko best recovery five jumps best aerial drift best back air in the game um insane setups you can land rests as well too the best ledge play so le best ledge play you can do you can play defensively as you like you can dominate the pace of a game at least you're not as long as you're not playing with, against Fox, which is a little bit different too. Um, uh, so I think these top five is really not that controversial, especially given the results in 2023 and 2022. Um, now that more people are familiar with the matchups, I think this is pretty fair. Um, and when it comes to the top tiers, I do believe this is where I round it out. Unless, of course, you let me cook a little bit. Because I think there might be one more top tier in this game played at the top level that it isn't as good as these five characters but i've seen enough the only issue is there needs to be more representation the sixth best character in this game and not to make everyone crazy is yoshi and i only believe there's one player there's only one player that has figured it out but if we're talking the player the character played at its absolute level it's really not that controversial. Yoshi won three Super Majors last year. Do you see what he did to Mango's Fox, to My Puff, to Zane's Marth, to J Mook Sheik? Did you see what happened when played perfectly? Of course, it's of course. Yes, better than Falcon and Peach. Yes, until Amsa leveled up the way he did, I would have never said this, but now I've seen the light. And I'm letting you know there's only one guy doing it. And if you're talking about, oh, there's not enough reps, apart from two cent getting top eight at Genesis, I was the only fucker doing it with Puff for a long ass time. And you guys put, you guys wanted to put Puff number one in the game when it was just me doing it. So give me a fucking break with that. All right, right after Yoshi, we put Captain and Falcon. Again, I am at least putting it one tier below. I'm putting it one tier below. Uh, Captain Falcon, obviously, absolute gorilla of a character insane kill potential, fastest run speed in the game, and insanely fast uh, aerials, dare, some of the best aerials in the game, um, best follow-ups, tech chasing. You need to, it's definitely a high skill ceiling to what, to what you gotta do, and you need to have fast racking time for sure to play it. But Wizzy was one knee away from being number one in the world ranked in the summer until he caught my back there in his face. So um, after Falcon, uh also in high tier uh, i believe it's fair here to put peach of course armada proved the absolute with this character could do Lod does it as well definitely has some lopsided matchups against puff fox a good fox can bully the fuck out of peach but a peach can also bully fox if you play it really really well um but it's tough because there's something there's, there's certain things you have to get up and doing so but the reps have done really really well too um and I also do think uh, P P Peach, Peach has definitely um, been shown to been able to win majors. Only thing with Peach, similar to Sheik, is the puff problem. Very technical character. You gotta, it, you, she's super easy to pick up. In fact, when there's beginners to the game, I just say pick Peach and down smash and figure it out, and then you go along as you do it. But super high skill ceiling for what it is. So I think Peach there is pretty fair. High tier is not done yet though. Um, I used to not have this character here, but thanks to a S thanks to a slippery, slithering man, uh, we have learned now that you don't really need a game-breaking tech to still have this character be absolutely phenomenal and in high tier. That's gonna be Ice Climbers, thanks to Slug. Slug, there's also been Lunar Dusk um, and some other Ice that have really been doing well. Uh, but to me, thanks to handoffs and showing, you know, what the character can do when you really put in the time, you get a grab, you should get a kill. Slug was able to defeat Zane at double down with no wobbling. Barely any grabs, showing that the character's neutral is incredibly good. One of the fastest way dashes in the game is literally two small Ganondorfs hitting you. Damage output, insanely ridiculous. Recovery can be really good mixing up with up B and side B. Um, and I do think that, uh, I, 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 I do think that even a good Sopo can do pretty well. So you still have like a second chance to do it. And Slug beating left and yeah, Slug beating left at main stage. Icy's Fox is becoming harder and harder because Fox literally cannot touch the ground. There used to be a thing where it's like Fox invalidates Icy's with Shine. You separate them, but it's <coughs> it's not that easy anymore. It's not that easy. I think that rounds out the high tier, and now we can hop to the middle tiers. Um, the difference between a middle tier 
and high tier. Six sandwiches in top 64 of Genesis. What was the highest placing one? Surbi Cody. Yes, I know Surbi Cody, but the upsets do happen. It happened once. Once. Name me another good Samus result. Another good a, a, a Samus that beats a, that beat a top 10 player. 33rd, good. Middle tier Samus. Thank you. Samus is there. Very, very good. Um, but you know, not this thing very, very good, but has a lot of tricks with charge shot, has a lot of tricks that can make it very, very good. Hard to use top level, insanely good down smash. I will say that this character can matchup check a lot of people more than anything. And I think when it comes to actually ranked and unranked, uh, it's getting to the point where they're learning how to deal with these characters too. She does have one of the best recoveries in the game with bomb stalling, with the tether, with up B. Great out of shield option. Can be very, very defensive. And I think actually this character has still not reached its max potential. Then right after Samus, you have Pikachu. So you could you could My switch man. the order of Pikachu and Samus, depending on what it is. Pikachu does have some reps. Axe, of course, being the biggest rep. Hasn't had quite the, the massive success he did back then, but still managed to make a top 10. And you know what? I kind of do want to flip them actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, did, I, I changed my mind. I, I changed my mind. I was thinking about placements last year. I was thinking about matchups. Um, Axe, Tyler Swift, um, among others. It's not what, no. No, it's, it makes sense. Fucking Pikachu makes top eights way more common. Ralph than Samus, way more common. Samus Extender, that's your reason for Samus being my Pikachu, guys. Pikachu can beat foxes. Doesn't beat, but can beat foxes. Can beat Marth. Arguably beats Marth. Falco. Not Sheik, not Puff, but can deal with Yoshi, Peach, Falcon, and the results prove it as well, too. And then on the box, the, the character gets unlocked even more. Insanely fast recoveries. And at the same time, I will think that Pikachu over time will only get better and better and better because people are gonna deal with speed in better ways. Speed is super important offstage game. Insanely good. Up smash, strongest in the game. Threat to any character when played correctly. After Samus, also in the middle tier, is a character that I think still, still has not been fully unlocked. Okay, I, I, a character that I, I think truly, truly, truly um, could go even further than what they're currently at. It just, it just the reps. It's like we we didn't consider Yoshi until we had an Amsa. This character needs an Amsa. This character needs someone to like really fucking crack through and understand it. Um, and I actually think that character is Luigi, followed directly by Dr. Mario. The two plumbers are next to each other on the tier list. It's insanely close. Franz especially. Uh, I think Franz with Dr. Mario has proven exactly what it can do. So good, just not quite at the heights of Samus or Pikachu. Whereas Luigi, even though his recovery gets snuffed a lot, some of the more recently great Luigis, there was a player named um, Abate who really made me think Luigi was better than Pikachu at his peak. There hasn't quite been an Abate yet since that. Abate was... A lot of people consider to be the greatest Luigi player of all time. I think he is the greatest Luigi player of all time. Fifth place at Big House 5. Absolutely insane. Someone can do it. Someone can figure it out. Yeah, he took fifth at Big House 5. Players like Mad Tyro, um, Sidward, players like... Um, there, there's just ones that come to mind when I play them online where I'm just like, this character is fucking insane. So, uh... Yeah, you guys could all name some of Luigi's in the back and in, in, in your mind that have been, you know, making people scared in their region. Eddie Mexico, of course. I, I, I do think the character can be pushed even more. And I, I have him edged over Dr. Mario from the sheer amount that more Luigi's have been present. Uh, regard. And when it comes to the middle tier, for characters that are as good as Pikachu, right? As good as Pikachu, Samus, Luigi, Doc. Not that level, but in the same tier. So, okay. Here, here's here's how I draw the line here. Pretend Summit had a low tier tournament, right? Pretend Summit said, hey, we're gonna invite all the top players. They can only use low tiers. So here's the question. Which characters would be allowed and which characters would not be allowed, right? Mewtwo would be allowed because we all know Mewtwo colloquially as a low tier. Same as Roy, same as Link. But you know who you wouldn't allow? I wouldn't allow Ganondorf and I wouldn't allow DK. If you ask me this, this to me, this is now the hardest part of the tier list right here because defining a character as low tier is tricky. Um, and if the, 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 this line right here is a thick line, 
But then if I put if I was put Gandorf here, that also insinuates that Gandorf is in the same tier as Pikachu, which I just I can't do that. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna make a tier called Ganon tier. I, and I I truly honestly do believe this, truly. And there's three characters in Gandorf tier. It's kind of funny. I'll, I'll explain it in a second. Let me cook. All right. Okay. Let me cook. God. Holy shit. The stove is on. The, the, I'm burning the sauce. Chill. Thank you. A new tier just dropped. Tell your friends. Buckle up. It's Ganon tier. In this tier exists three characters that are truly the line between viable and not viable. In fact, to this day, we can't decide if these characters are viable or not. It's just a weird thing. You can't call them middle tier, but you can't call them low tiers either. So they're fucking here, okay? So this list begins with DK. DK is in limbo at all times. There are so many new DK players that that make upsets. You have you have you have Wrangler nearly three owing Leffen and then just getting eviscerated by his Sheik, reminding us why he's not a viable character. You see what I mean? That's like a perfect example. You have a Kier getting top eight, but also Komeni Marth. It's there's always an if, there's always a stipulation. And I think putting him in this list is very, very fair. Um, you've got also in this tier, Ganondorf, to no one's surprise. He's Captain Falcon with everything shittier, slower, but more powerful. Has a really, really good up air. Huge, but slow. Hitbox behind it. Um, can kill most characters earlier than anyone else in the game. Uh, and he matchup checks a lot of people. But if you know what you're doing, I do think like literally, like, I do think this is literally like Puff's best matchup of all these characters. I think Puff Ganon is like 80-20, if you know what you're doing. Like, I, I just, it, there's just nothing. There's nothing you can do. If Puff lands two up airs below you, the game's over. That's it. He's gigantic. He's floaty. He can get up aired six times in a row, then bear wall of pain with the slowest recovery. It, it's just bupkis. But Ganondorf Marth, kind of cool. Ganondorf versus some of these characters, kind of neat. So, yeah. All right, so um, results tier list. Man, it's almost as if results emulate the meta of a character currently. Wow, what a fucking concept. Jesus, chat, of course he went up. Of course you look at tournaments. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Of course. That's like trying to find out what the most viewed Twitch channels are on Twitch and ignoring the viewership numbers. It, it makes no fucking sense. Like, what are you? Of course. What else would you look at? How good they make you feel? How bad you are at the matchup? What some guys said the matchups are? Shut the fuck up. Thank you. I think this list is very good so far. Okay. So there's at least one more rep in the Gandorf too. I do think Mario is one of those reps. He's a worse doc, but clearly has some sauce. Very good forward smash. Aerial mobility, cape, grab combos. You've kind of seen what Scorp with Mango can do when played perfectly. Gotta put Mario there. Mario is there because he's not a low tier character. I can't call him a low tier character. Um, and I think Aklo won RR with Link. Yeah, Aklo didn't play Fox at all. He didn't play the best character in the fucking game at all. However, this is where I draw the line. Is Link in Ganon tier or is Link still a low tier? I think, I think, I think we might need a link. <laughs> we might need a link tier. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's not a link tier with Mario inside of it. <laughs> the link discord is here. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let me call it the line. The line is vague enough. I have link above Mario and I have Mario above young link, but I think young link is still like a low tier. That's the problem. Yeah. I don't, I, it's, it's hard for me to consider Link or Mario low tier, but there is Rocket who is a top 100 young Link, but that's, that's it. I think Aklo's accomplishments with Link as a secondary far outshadow Rocket's main as young Link. Does that make sense? So current is what I have. And by the way, there's also other people who cook with Link online. It's mainly online, but if they had a chance to go to more tournaments, guys like TPN, guys like Honeybee, uh, if they could do it, it would re it'd really impress people. Anyways, I think this is fair. Or honey bear, honey bear. Okay, press one if you're still alive. You're still breathing. We're still okay. We have you haven't you haven't called a, a lawsuit yet. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. Let's finish the list. Also in low tier, right after Young Link, or 
above Young Link. I forgot about it. Young, Young Link is not the best low tier. There's two characters in front of him. Above Young Link in low tier, and the best low tier character in the game clearly is Roy. Clearly. That's thanks to the results of Don't Test Me, showing exactly what this character is capable of doing. I used to have Roy lower. I am still to this day in awe. I didn't realize what you could do. I didn't realize how good of a character, well, he's not good of a character, but how good his grab range is, how good his down tilt is, and the combos and juggles and sequences you can do with this character. Uh, it's, very, it's very surprising. One of the strongest forward smashes in the game, one of the best down tilts, one of the best grab ranges, one of the best, really good wave dash too. He's fast. He's a fast faller Marth with a, with a backwards noodle sword. And you have probably no surprise when I tell you that right above, right before Roy right now is actually going to be Mewtwo. Similar to Zane, Leffen has been showing exactly what this character can do. Placing on the top of the European leaderboard and beating very, very top professional characters, ta uh, pl players, Taj as well. Beating you, Marth, reminding us that the character still does have good matchup checks across the board. Not saying he beats the top tiers by any means, but Mewtwo has just enough uh, like slipperiness, you know, sudden kill power with forward air, um, aerials like Nair. Oh, he lost to you, Marth. Never mind. But he did scoop into the stage three times. It was kind of fucking. Sick. Point is, in Europe, we, we see what he can do. I think Leffen has beaten Professor Pro before, and I'm, and you you have to know what you're doing there. But he's still, I think he's safely in low tier. He beat Mango's Doc. Chat, shut the fuck up. Le um, Mewtwo still belongs uh, right there in low tier. I think it's safe as well. You got Young Link there too. Young Link to me, what Young Link's Rocket is officially top 100 now with Young Link. I think uh rocket is the lowest tier main to make top 100 correct me if i'm wrong i believe so so i think with with that alone you know there's there's, there's an argument there as well too basically the, the closest character to young link is game watch you can you can put these in the order that you feel is better you did have some really really good game and watch reps that have existed but i don't think the game watch reps have impressed me as much as you know what Roy and Mewtwo prove they can do in the right hands. You've had a bunch of top players, like like IBDW played Game & Watch. The thing is, like every top player has dabbled in these low tiers, right? I have, Mango has, Cody, Leffen, Zane, Plup. You know, they've all we've all dabbled in low tiers. And the reason you hear about Zane's Roy a ton and Leffen's Mewtwo a ton is because they were able to beat the most people and impress the most people in doing so. I just fundamentally, I think that uh, like Mario just has more potential than these characters below, just in terms of how he's designed. But I could see Mario easily just being literally here in less than a year. Mario, I'm torn on. I never thought Mario was great, like at all. Uh, it's just, we just colloquially don't consider him a low tier and we haven't for a while. It's he just by design has more in his toolkit than a Roy or Mewtwo. Uh, Young Link is a great uh, counter pick character. Of course, Armada used it against me to beat Puff specifically. Axe has done some pretty good stuff. He's very fast though. I think Young Link and Luigi are in the same category where they need a good rep. The line is exactly what it stands for. It's a character that you can't decide if they're... I think DK, Gandorf, Link, and Mario, no one can decide if they're viable, or, which makes it really fun. So that's low tier. And I think that rounds out the low tier. And I think now we only have two tiers left. We have bottom and laughing my ass off. Actually, I'm gonna change the kick over. Okay, um, so here we go. The best character in the bottom tier, I think is Zelda. I think Zelda is better than this. Might sound weird. I just think Zelda's back air and forward air, and I guess down smash alone are so insane. I mean, so fucking insane. It's a faster knee. Um, and of course, we're, we're th this is Zelda in a vacuum, okay? Although it's unfair, like Sheik uses Zelda's recovery. I, I, I was considered just Zelda in a vacuum, if you don't use. Um, recovery goes really far. Neutral B is a kind of like good get off me tool. Fair and bear kill so early. Um, and we've seen every top player just get sunned by her fair or bear. It's, in fact, those moves are so good. It Those moves alone just put her better than Ness. Ness. 
Ness has the distinction of just being better than the characters above below, below him and being far, far worse than anyone above him. I love playing Ness. I actually know a lot about Ness. He has some cool glitches. He has a cool Nair. Backer's pretty strong. Dare hits hard. Forward air very strong. Forward air is very spammable. PK fire is complete trash. Down B is trash. His recovery, trash. Um, his up air, phenomenal. Back throw, really, really strong. Again, recovery, fucking trash, trash, trash recovery. Has to up B, aim and pray, but very easy to do it. If he had a better recovery, he could be bumped up so high, but it's just, there's a reason no one plays him. Okay, yo-yo setups are really good too, but they're very situated. And double jump canceling, it's good, but his range is so small. Also one of the shortest grab ranges in the whole game. If his grab one is better. Anyway, then you got Pichu. Lightest character in the game, tied for the lightest character in the game with Puff and Kirby. Very good Nair, very fast, but my God, this character's range is abysmal. Strictly worse recovery than Pikachu. There's very few reasons to not use this Pikachu instead of Pichu. The character hurts themselves for some weird reason. Uh, so you can just camp Pichu and then just wait for, P wait for Pichu's damage to rack up. It's just funny. It's stupid. It's really dumb. Considering Fox up throw up air can kill Pichu at like 40 or like, fi like 45. Like it's already insult to injury that the character hurts themselves. But I have seen, I do think the character has some potential. I do think in the right hands, the character can be pushed at the most to the top of bottom, above Ness and Zelda, because you can do some stuff with fair to up smash. You can do some stuff with the, with, um, with the tilt, some off stage play. All right, um, and then the, the most uh, jarring up into the tier list, I'll say is that Kirby is the lowest character in bottom tier and Bowser is actually for the first time in a tier by himself. I have, <laughs> I have toiled with this for so long. Bowser is such dog shit. I, I don't, what were they thinking? Yeah, up be out of shield, cool, then what? You get shine twice, you're dead. Longest fucking uh, jump squat. Wh what, forward smash? Oh yeah, that comes out fast. His throws, they're not even kill throws. <laughs> There's so many things bad about this character. Can he take games or sets off people and locals? Yeah. <laughs> Down throw doesn't even work. Oh, I'll, I'll say the up be out of shield and the get up attack are some of the best in the game. I will say that. Um, And I will say if you open up melee right now and you grab the ledge and click jump, he has an NIL on Yoshi's story. If this game was only Yoshi's story, if it's Bowser only on Yoshi's, he goes here. I'll say that, but FD exists. So as it stands, also, do you like how nearly perfectly even the tiers are apart from Kek W? Just saying, it's pretty balanced. Um, almost four characters in every tier. And this is where I do think the meta stands in 2023. Yoshi, of course, having the biggest rise. Bowser's still the worst, but I feel like he's he's uh, in his own tier. And um, I put Bowser at, in the bottom tier. I mean this, that is symmetrical. Ooh, that is pretty satisfying. That is pretty satisfying, but he sucks. <laughs> And everyone, this is the tier list. Everyone say bye, YouTube. Had a good old fun time. Uh, and stay tuned, because remember how I said that it was the final tier list on my YouTube for Ultimate? That was a lie, so stay tuned.